Before I get into the video, I just want to mention that if you support what I do, consider ordering one of my innovative thumbstick upgrades. The link to the store is in the description of this video. So I've been getting some requests on how I have my controller set up and battled it, because this game has absolutely no controller support. So pretty much what you need to do is you need to trick the game into thinking that you're using a keyboard and mouse. So right now it thinks that my look is my mouse movements and my other analog is WASD on the keyboard. So there's two ways of doing this. The free way is through directly through Steam, you could do it. And the other way is through a third party software called REWASD. So I like to use the REWASD version but let me show you guys the Steam version first. What you need to do is you need to first set up your controller. So you click on the Steam icon up here, go into settings, go to controller, and you may need a toggle on your controller. I know that Xbox also has an update over here, Xbox features support. If you wanna be able to use your controller like how I am on the desktop right now to be able to use it as a mouse, um, you could go to the desktop layout and edit that. So you need to go to library, click on library, go to Battlebit Remastered, then you right click on it, go to properties, go to controller, and click on over here, go to enable Steam input, and you'll notice a controller icon pops up over here. So then what you do is you click on this, and you click on this button over here, and under community layouts, there's a bunch of community layouts for Battlebit. I'm sure that probably a lot of them are pretty good. Steam is a little bit limited, so I prefer using REWASD because you get to make a lot more complex of a config and be able to take advantage of more buttons with it. So I'll show you guys how I have it set up in REWASD right now. These are the aggressive settings I have right now. There's a lot of, it looks pretty complicated, but I'll have everything, all the button bindings, what they do, certain buttons you need to double tap. So for example, over here I have F to grab an item or use, cut rope or unbuild, and then that's double tap and then triple tap is K for repair. So there's a, a lot of different hidden settings in here. Pretty much the difference if you wanna to decide to whether you use the aggressive settings or the standard settings. If you wanna just be able to play like how you would with a normal controller, then I recommend just using the basic settings and you're probably gonna be pretty happy with that. But the aggressive settings take advantage of the movement in this game. So you can see when I do a full deflection of the stick, I'm going into a lean. And what that does is when you're in a gunfight, it makes you a much harder target to hit. So you'll notice that some people, that they're super hard to hit when they're moving back and forth and they're spamming the lean button. So I have it under a light deflection, doesn't go into the lean at all a full deflection goes into the lean and a full deflection forward goes into sprint. So light deflection, I'm not sprinting, full deflection, I'm sprinting. The other thing that you're gonna need to do, you're gonna need to go into your controls. And if you're playing on basic, don't do this if you're playing on aggressive, only on, you're gonna find out why if you try it. Under basic settings, do toggle lean and toggle sprint. So those are the only changes in this menu that I recommend doing. Um, obviously, you're gonna wanna set up your sensitivities. My sensitivities are extremely high. Feel free to lower it from what I have it. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do, key bindings. And if you wanna take advantage of being able to hold breath when you're aiming down sight on snipers, if you like to snipe a lot, under weapon, on steady aim. So you can see I have a uh, left shift. So either change this key binding or add a second key binding over here. And when you do a light deflection on the aim down sight, it doesn't hold breath, but the full deflection, if you fully deflect it, um, at the very end, it's gonna hold breath. So you can see a light deflection. I'm not holding my breath at all. Now I go into full deflection. Now I'm holding my breath and my sights are steady. So pretty much if you want to take advantage of that feature, then that's the only key binding I recommend having set up that's different from the default. Let me go over some other things within the settings as well. What you do is you click on any part of this ring on the right stick and go to advanced settings. And I recommend setting up the dead zone. Right now on default, 
I have the set dead zone set at 2000, but you could either raise or lower that if you're getting to drift or not. What I recommend doing is setting this as low as possible, this number over here, setting that as low as possible that you have the smallest possible dead zone, but also with no drift. So yeah, that's pretty much how I have it set up. And I guess I'll end it with a little bit of some gameplay. Thank you. 